You know, the scripture says, Go to the ant, thou sluggard, and learn her ways and be wise. The Bible tells us to learn from the sparrows and uh, from the conies, even from Leviathan. And so the scripture says that there are many lessons to be learned from the world of animals and um, even the dogs, although they're usually bad examples in the scripture. But this is my little dog, Bella. And I just thought I'd tell a little story about a dog tonight. It's uh, an interesting thing to me to see these little creatures and how very often they put us to shame, especially in the areas of their loyalty and faithfulness. And that's certainly true of these little dogs. William MacDonald, some years ago, told a story about going for a walk around a little lake and um, the owner of a little dog was walking and they met and began to talk about the little dog and as they did the woman said to Bill MacDonald you know my little dog just wants two things she wants to know what I want and then she wants to do it and you know as Bill heard that he just said in his heart Lord I want to be like your little dog I want to know what you want and, and then I want to do it. And uh, when we think about good stories about dogs in the Bible, there's one in the Old Testament, I think in Joshua 14, and there's one in the New Testament, I think in Matthew 15. In Joshua 14 we have the story of Caleb, and Caleb means a dog, and I have no idea why they called him that. But uh, he said, well if I'm going to be a dog, then I'm going to be faithful like a dog. And what marked out Caleb was that he wholly followed the Lord his God. And this little dog here, when I'm away, she sits and watches. And when she hears my car, she's right ready. It doesn't matter how I treat her. It doesn't matter if I forgot to put food in her bowl or let her out at the wrong time. She's going to immediately respond to me. She treats me like... Uh, it's the first time she's ever seen me, and she's so excited to see me. So when we think about that kind of faithfulness, that kind of loyalty that follows the master wherever he goes, this was certainly true of Caleb. But we have a very different story in the New Testament. It's the story of a woman in Syrophoenicia, the border between Syria and Lebanon and Israel. And this woman... Uh, her daughter was sick. The Lord Jesus made a long journey, probably 60 miles round trip by foot through the foothills, moving up towards uh, the northern extremities of the land of Israel, it seems, in order to engage with this woman. But when he met her, it seems he ignored her. She said, Son of David, have mercy on me. Well, as the son of David, uh, she actually was an enemy of Israel. And uh, the Lord Jesus was silent. He was not silent because he didn't want to help her. But I think he was feeding her faith. He was stimulating her faith. And so she persisted. And she said, Lord, have mercy. And the Lord said, well now, you don't give the food, the bread, that belongs to the children, to the dogs. The Gentiles were termed as dogs by the Jews. And the woman said, no, that's true, but no, don't the little dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table? In other words, the Jews have more than enough. I'm not asking for what they want to eat. I'll take the leftovers. I'll take the crumbs. That will be more than enough. Dear Christian, if we as the Gentiles have received the crumbs, what will the banquet be like? May the Lord encourage us. When we see these little dogs, you know, this dog is so sympathetic. Uh, we've had some people in our home who have been going through difficult times. And this little dog will go over to them and put her paw on them. And we've seen this before with relatives who are suffering. And this little dog will show sympathy. 
And it's very convicting to me because I tend not to be very demonstrative with those who are suffering. And it reminds me to learn from these little animals the faithfulness, the loyalty. May it be true of us as it was true of Caleb that he wholly followed the Lord.